and so it's super set the phone. Okay. So everything's set up that we need. We have Tesla tape, a GPS, uh, where's the mag oh, magnet <laughs> over here, um, pliers, marine grease, super glue, and uh, accelerator. So I already cut the Tesla tape into, uh, this is about two thirds the width, and this is about one third the width. Um, and then we have to first turn the GPS accelerometer on. We would write A51 into the notebook, and then that flashing light means everything is good, it's turned on. If you saw anything else, don't put it on. And so the time was 11.41 when we turned that on. There's a waterproof connector here that you want to put marine grease on so that uh, it's extra waterproof. Just a little dab will be enough. It's still flashing, still looks good. All right, a little bit of super glue on the back. If it gets too built up, you scrape it off with a knife with the super glue and feathers. So I just did a little Z shape. I don't know if that matters, but. All right, so our accelerometer is ready to go. Everything else that we need is ready to go. So we have a bird, Kyle. <laughs> this is a kitty, right? Hello, bird. bird. Hello. Is that a popsicle? Okay. And we like to control the head, and we need to have access to the tail. So, um, if Kyle just points the bird's butt towards me and sprays the, the wings out, and ideally he'd be able to hold the preen butt feathers back so that they're out of the way and don't get caught up. The bird has 12 tail feathers when it's not missing any, so we're gonna get a cable tie into our hand and our mouth here. Not, not easy to talk, actually, that would be better. So, one, two, three, four, five tail feathers we don't want. We want these two central retrices, which are behind the preen gland, and then a couple of the longer contours Anywhere from two to four is gonna really help you. And then you can get some fluffies on top, but those back ones are more sturdy. And so I'm just kind of running my fingers behind so that the cable tie and tape will go in smoothly. There's the preen gland again, just so you can see this right here. That's the preen gland. We don't wanna bother that, because if it's bothered, maybe the bird would rip it out. And so, sticky side down, very straight, aligned with the bird's body and those tail feathers. And I'm putting my finger there just to slide up until I feel some contact, about half a, half a centimeter is what you're aiming for, so that it's not gonna touch it, but it's really close to the body. And then a cable tie goes straight on, cinched on, just to hold it in place while you get organized. Now I'm gonna get my wide piece of tape and my little trick is to stick it to both fingers so I have a lot of control because you'll wish that you had three hands. And so I'm going to hold everything that I don't want out of the way, like this, slide the tape under, make sure that I haven't caught any extra feathers, just the ones that I wanted originally. And I'm really squishing with my fingers and getting a lot of tension on that tape so that it's really squished in there. I'm going like this. So the tape and the GPS and the glue are all mixing together in my head. I don't know if that's reality. And then I'm going to put another cable tie on top. And I cinch it shut. Then I grab my needle nose pliers. I hold the GPS still. And I'm really going to twist and reef on this to get extra clicks tight, but you don't want to snap it. You also don't want to pop the tail off, so you're really holding it in place. So I'm grabbing onto the head of that zip tie and turning down, and I felt quick, 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 something I would never be able to do with just my fingers alone. Again, quick, quick, quick. That's a really tight cable tie, and we could probably leave it at that, but we're not going to. I'm going to clip off the cable tie about a millimeter from the cable tie because the locking mechanism um, acts on that 
later edge, and we don't want to uh, clip it so short that the locking mechanism um, doesn't have anything to hold on to. But we also don't want it to annoy the bird. So that's pretty short, but there's enough there that it's not going to slip. I got a third of a strip of pencil tape. Just detaching any fluffies that accidentally got in there. And again, I'm going to slide it really high past, like towards the bird from my upper cable tie. And I do a little X here over the connector to hold that marine grease on there. It's still going to get wet. Maybe that'll do nothing, I don't know. And then a second piece, about a third wide of Tezza tape goes across the center. A lot of tension. And I try to have all of these ends of tape end in a similar place so I don't have to put glue all over it. And I'm going squish, 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 really pinching down. Grab my super glue. And I'm going to fuse all these cable ties and pieces of tape together and tap down any ends that are kind of hanging out there so they don't get caught on anything. You're trying to avoid the connector, which is about the end of this cable tie here. You don't want to get super glue in there because then you won't get your data off. Open the accelerator. Give a spray. It acts really quickly and can get kind of hot, so don't touch it right away. But now immediately that super glue is dry. If I feel a bit of tackiness or missed a spot, I'll add another spray. And then I do a final check that nothing else got in there. No, it's just that original bundle. I like where it is. It's about half a centimeter from the preen gland. And she's good to go. Great. Could you tell us about the marine grease? Uh, TechnoSmart wants us to put marine grease on the connector. It's supposed to be a waterproof... Um, well, sorry, it's supposed to be a waterproof connector, but we've had a lot of corrosion issues in the past, and so this is what the company recommends to prevent corrosion on the connector. Because if it corrodes, then you don't get your data off, can't charge it, it becomes useless, and you're down a GPS. Would, one other tip would be that uh, we don't have the head in, um, in a bat, bird bag, but often it's easy to put a, you know, it calms the bird a little bit if it's in a, in a bird bag. So if you have at least the head covered. Yeah, often we'll have the head in a cone in the... And Hannes will even hold the bird in the cone and you can kind of pinch down on the um, back of the cone to hold them in place and it frees up uh, your hands. So the, the bird's head would be here.